Welcome back folks to the Serpent's Kitchen. I'm going to show you guys in this video how I make the bone marrow vitality elixir. This is the basic formula. This can be upgraded a handful of ways. And if people show enough interest in this recipe, I'll happily show adaptations and augmentations to this basic formula. This bone marrow vitality elixir not only tastes amazing, folks, bone marrow that's not cooked and denatured tastes like sweet butter. It's absolutely delicious. But not only is this going to taste better than ice cream, but it is going to make your mind stable. At least that's been my own personal finding. You want to try to consume this on a fasted stomach? You don't want to eat this before or after a large meal. You want to give your body this by itself so that you can gauge the way it makes you feel, right? Bone marrow is full of stem cells, peptides, protein, collagen, beneficial amino acids, basic, simple to digest and break apart proteins again, which again, not all, uh, let's be repetitive here. I keep, blah, word soup, Jesus Christ. Animal proteins are much different than plant proteins. I've found this out the hard way, guys. And the proteins found in different parts of the animal are different, for instance, the protein found in bone marrow is different than the protein found in ribeye steak, right? It's different than the protein found in Wagyu beef. It's different than the protein found in raw eggs. And we're going to use these. So I've got some cooked eggs over there, some hard boiled eggs that are in an ice bath. They're much different, for instance, the proteins in cooked eggs than raw eggs. Raw eggs being the better option of the two. They haven't been, again, the genetic information in the proteins haven't been denatured when they're raw. I eat a mixture of both though. The emotional body and certain parts of our body that have become accustomed to eating cooked foods, they like cooked foods, but the body also loves cooked or raw foods as well, especially raw animal foods. And I'm not suggesting that you do this. It likes a mixture of raw animal foods, fruits, and a handful of other things, but I'm not gonna get into that in this video. I wanna focus on this recipe. The constituents found in bone marrow stabilize the mind. That's why I call it a vitality elixir. What is vitality? Well, guys, it's when you feel strong. It's when you feel capable. It's when you feel calm because you don't really feel capable when you're in a state of chaos. The right foods are gonna make your body very strong and they're going to turn on genetic memories if you eat the right foods especially not when you eat them with processed carbs and all this other bullshit that i suggest staying away from it's going to awaken parts of your mind and your body that are going to it's going to lower cortisol and you're going to feel you're going to feel amazing long story short when you feel amazing and you feel like you're being nourished properly you have vitality guys and when you have vitality you can finally be creative you can problem solve better Situations in your life that you may be struggling with it's going to be easier for you to deal with or to find ways around it or to solve issues, right? We are undernourished and overfed. We are on a high carb, low fat diet. It's destroyed the United States. Elevated chronic blood sugar is ruining people's lives and their health, both physical and mental. But let's stay on point here with this recipe. You're going to need a marrow bone from beef. Let me show you the ones I use. You can get these at Sprouts Farmer's Market. This is grass-run farms. No antibiotics or added hormones harvested in the United States. I'm not saying that these are the best. And these are expensive. This is $12 or $13 a bag. Ridiculous. But you usually get between five and seven, sometimes more or less bones, depending on how big they are. And I like to consume at least one of these smoothies a day. And when you're done, pushing the marrow out of the bone, and I'll show you how to do that in a minute. Put the bone, the hollow bones, back into a freezer bag and throw them in the freezer and you can make stock later. And if you make stock properly, you're gonna be able to get a bunch of bioavailable calcium. What do you think bone's made of? Not all calcium, just like not all protein is the same, folks. I learned this the hard way, but now I know. And I've been doing this long enough where I know that this is what my body wants. So by going without and going vegan for so long, I learned a ton. And now I can mix the two together. This is balance in my opinion. So what are you gonna need? You're gonna need some bananas. You're technically only gonna need one. I prefer 
them frozen. These are not fully frozen yet. You wanna freeze your bananas for at least 24 hours if you wanna make this recipe properly. Otherwise, unless they're not, if they're not fully solid, this is not gonna have the proper ice cream consistency. And this is the key, and this is the key to the consistency of this smoothie. Bone marrow, raw, tastes like sweet butter. When you mix it with the milk and the frozen bananas, this is just a heavenly drink that is finally something that tastes so good that gives you so much, right? And I'm gonna throw some blueberries in this batch. I suggest trying it without the blueberries if, you, if you're just doing this. So let me just get all the ingredients on the screen here for you guys, sorry. Bovine milk or goat's milk. Ideally, you're gonna use goat's milk. I couldn't get it this month, so I'm using bovine milk. Always use whole milk not 1%, all this other garbage. So in my recipe, I'm gonna be using milk, blueberries, the marrow of one marrow bone, bananas, and two raw eggs. Let me just show you how I prepare this. Let me move this stuff out of the way and I'll show you how to do the bone marrow first. So I think I'm gonna use one of the smaller bones. This one I might, yeah, I'm gonna save that one for later. This one looks like it has, if you push, okay, keep your bones frozen all the time. When you're gonna make this, you guys, take a bone out of the freezer, put it in a dish with a cover on it and leave it out for an hour or ideally leave it in the fridge for three to four hours. There's hardly any marrow off this. This is a small bone, right? When it's, if you leave it out, you're, it's gonna be, you're gonna have almost no difficulty pushing through the bone and popping the marrow out the other side. It's almost impossible to do this, guys, when it's frozen solid. So just leave the marrow out. And I'm not suggesting you do this. Again, there's a disclaimer at the beginning of this video. There's risks involved with eating animal products raw. So this one is going to take a little bit more effort to get out, you guys. So, damn it, I thought I had... Let me get a spoon. You know, some people are gonna say this is disgusting. I think the way most people eat is disgusting. You know, what people are doing to their bodies is disgusting. People are killing themselves slowly. So this is kind of a tricky bone because part of the bone is smaller on one end than the other end. So I'm trying to use a little device here to get all the marrow through. It might have to sit out longer, unfortunately. Let's just see if I can avoid a huge mess here. Okay, it looks like I'm able to salvage some of the marrow. You wanna make sure you don't get any bits of bone in here. Just the marrow. Let's see, spilled it everywhere. This is it has the consistency almost of kidney suet, you guys. I don't know if you've ever had that. Kidney suet is actually one of the most delicious parts of the animal. I noticed Dr. Gassar was talking about that relatively recently too, and I thought that was funny because it's always been one of my favorite cuts of the animal is the fat around the kidney. So this is making a huge mess, unfortunately, you guys, because of the way that this bone is shaped. But I've got some marrow out of this bone. That looks, that almost sounded like I got some bits of bone in there. So I'm gonna leave that off to the side. Wash my hands really quick. One second. And I'm gonna salvage what's left here. You don't wanna let any of this go to waste. Unfortunately, because it has a high fat content, you can see it sticking to the counter like that. So I'm gonna wipe that off instead of smushing it into the counter. And I'll come back after this and hit this with alcohol. Make sure there's no bacteria or anything left on the counter. So we've got some bone marrow, real simple. Two eggs, raw. I'm gonna put those off to the side and I can green recycle those later. All right, now, I'm, since these aren't completely frozen, it's not gonna give the end product the right consistency, so I'm just gonna throw in one whole banana. Fuck it. I'm gonna add some milk. Again, there's no exact measurements to this, you guys. Just try it and tweak it and find the consistency that you like. Now, a small handful of blueberries. Blueberries are good for the 
DNA reparative qualities. And since the banana is not fully frozen, you know, I'm going to add some more blueberries because this is going to give it a nice, because the, the, bana or the, because the banana is not frozen, the blueberries will actually thicken this up since they are frozen. So, again, guys, you want to save your bones so you can save st or make stock. So put them in a bag and then you can throw them in the freezer. Put this stuff off to the side and I'll show you how I blend this. So this is the basic recipe. This can be modified a multitude of different ways. And if made properly, which I didn't show you how to do it because my bananas aren't frozen all the way, this is gonna taste a million times better. So I suggest going to the store, buying a big box of bananas, getting them to have black spots on them so their sugars are ripe and mature, and put them in freezer bags and ha always have them on hands and get on hand. You wanna have the foods that you eat, your staples, on hand all the time. I just did a video and shared it with you guys on staples. Load up on them. Don't have junk in the house. If you have junk in the house, that's why you're eating it. So, let's just move the camera and we'll blend this. Got the Vitamix. Might have to add more liquid. Nope, that looks good. Turn the light on. You know what else goes good in this is spirulina. Just a teaspoon. Spirulina is good for detoxing metals. I like to blend it for at least 30 seconds. too long the eggs are gonna froth though you guys so you gotta be kind of careful let me get a jar out of here and I'll show you what this looks like I always like to double check and make sure there isn't any bone marrow on the bottom I want to get all of that you guys don't let these lives be lost in vain if you catch my drift eat everything that you can off the animal don't waste meat it's one thing to waste vegetables do not waste animal products look at that now with the, with the, if you used a frozen banana, this is going to be about a million times creamier. Mm, looks like something fell out. So we're going to blend this again, guys. I don't know if you saw that. I think that's a piece of banana, maybe. Let's blend this again. You don't want to have stray chunks of nonsense in your food. Mm -hmm. shut off so now that we're back that should be good it should be blended enough now we're just gonna pour it in and there you go everything's been blended properly there's no chunks of anything always save this put some water in it immediately because this mixture will thicken up I put some water in the blender piece put the lid on and then shake it Get all this stuff off the walls. This is all bioavailable nutrients, you guys. And there you have it. Delicious.